Hey, what's up everyone? This is Craig and welcome back to another Summoner's War Siege Battle. So it already started and let's just head right in to see who we are up against. Delta Force and Tobong. Interesting. We are currently at rank 26 as well. Tobong at rank 8. Oh, very nice. And on Delta Force side, they are rank 18. Okay, so taking a look at the red corner, we are seeing a Miang, Asher, and Monty for their net for defense. Very interesting. We've never seen that one for quite some time already. And then a Nigong ish tower over here for their tower 11. And definitely more LDs on their tower 10. On Tobong's side, the net four, it's gonna be the Harmonia Vigor King Keys. Yeah, this one, very long in the meta already. And then also LD defenses here coming out from their 9 and definitely 10 as well. So we're seeing some Fermion, Sylvia, Sylvia. Ooh, this one quite scary. I want to fight this Mi Young, Monty, and Asher defense. Never fought it before, so let's try out this team, alright? We are gonna use the Asher Monty as well, but instead of Miang, we'll be using Fuki since we ruined him up recently. I think Fuki can be okay here, mainly doing like more damage if the Monty gets a low roll onto him, but hopefully he doesn't die, right? Okay, we'll take that. So Massacre comes, it's now on cooldown. So now we can just go for the Destiny dice. I really just want to finish off Monty always. I do not want to let him violent proc and stuff like that already. But now we landed the armor break onto Asher though. We got no choice. <laughs> Big damage done into the Blade Slaughter. Alright, first unit down. And we are gonna focus back onto the Monty. So nice heal additional turn. We got the armor break off but... We needed one Violent proc there. Oh my god. So the Miang is not gonna be able to heal up just yet. We can finish it off with the Massacre. Alright, very nice. With that Armor Break. Yeah, this one definitely in the back. We'll be facing the old boring Harmonia Vigor Kinky defense. And I'm always just gonna be bringing in this one. If you have any other like 100% teams, let me know down in the comments below. Alright. So if not, we'll always just use the Kumun and Lucia Lauren. I need the win rate. Yeah, I want to get 10 wins here to balance things up. We've been screwing around quite often the past few sieges. So our win rate kind of dropped a little bit. We need to get it back up to around like 85, 86%. So we are just gonna slow down this figure. Now we can actually just cleanse our Kumun because I'm afraid of that Vigor's Shred later on. Okay, we'll take that. Got the slow debuff onto the Harmonia, but look at the amount of damage done from that Vigor, man. Oh shit, stop talking. Oh my god, Kumun? Is Kumun dead? Oh, okay, okay, we can cleanse. Just go for the big life steal. Alright, we're back to almost full life. Push back. Vigor gets another heal off into 3 turns! Oh my god. Oh, this is scary, man. We only can cleanse next turn. Vigor, you better don't proc. Oh, stop! Oh, <laughs> that was close. Okay, we heal up. Oh, we failed to crit! The anti-crit buff too strong, man. Ah, uh, no slow debuff onto that Vigor. You know what? I think we put the Vigor to sleep. Yeah, so annoying. I don't want to deal with that. Kinky's damage output isn't really that scary. Alright, we'll take that. Stop putting my Kumun to sleep. Okay, we can heal. Push back. Okay, now we got the control. But we failed to crit. Ah, oh, might bite me in the ass, but then I think we're just gonna go for the kill here. Alright. So things is looking good. However, our Lauren and Elusia are very low on health. Both below 50%. And we got no choice but to heal up, I think. Okay, nice additional turn. We put the Kinky to sleep. Can we strip this shit away? Didn't get it. So that's not too good. Okay, okay, we can heal. 
Okay, finally we land the armor break. But yeah, the anti-crit buff too strong. Oh, okay. Now we got the control off onto the Vigor. We cleanse this away. Okay, can we crit? Let's go. Okay. So now what we want to do here is to get one more heal off onto the Lauren at least. Fail to land the armor break though. Yeah, I'm gonna heal Lauren first because yet again, even if we lose Kumun, right? The additional damage coming out from Lauren and Elusia should be sufficient as long as we can control that unit. So it doesn't really matter here, down to the last hit already, this will kill. We'll be fighting this Luis, Nana, and Azera too. So a single target DPS unit only on his team. We are gonna go with double strippers here just in case that Luis violent procs, right? Because I'm pretty sure my Gianna will move first. If it's not on will, then we could be in trouble, alright? So we can place a bomb here, we go for the critical error. Nice stun, alright, we'll take it. And I am just gonna be normal attacking here because I want to save my Nora strip in case that unit violent procs. So double bomb stacked onto the Zeratu. I think he kills himself here. <laughs> there we go. Oh, but additional turn though. Hey, can you stop? Yo! It's some revenge as well. Oh, but revenge doesn't give the Nana another stack, which is very nice. So now two supportive units against Sierra. We should win, right? <laughs> At least we brought down the Zeratu already. Mm, yeah, can we provoke here? Didn't get it. Oh my god, the armor break, man. Yeah, we just want to finish off this Nana. Come on, nice violent proc. Okay. So, gets the stun onto my Sierra, but I think it's all good. At the end of the day, I don't think my Sierra will die because we can always just normal attack with the Nora to heal up. And with all these strips, that's the reason why I actually brought the second stripper in our team. Yeah, Nora is gonna be good here. Now we'll be facing this Triana, Perna, and the Narsha. So going for this team, I think Diaz will be able to soak up almost all of the damage done coming out from that Narsha. We do have very high resistance on two of our supportive units, and Tilmars will be our main DPS. Okay, let's go. Who do we work on? We got the armor break off onto the Triana. So the Triana quite squishy. But we are taking so much damage from that Narsha though. Should we just finish her off first? Might as well, right? Because yet again, we just need to pop the Triana's passive once. Then we can kill off that unit already. Okay, triple crush. Easy, alright. So maybe we don't really need Diaz over here. <laughs> uh, Perna will always be hitting my Riley. Which means that we'll be able to get the 4th skill up very quickly. And from what I'm seeing here, the Perna doesn't really hit that hard as well, which is very good. We just need to fully focus on to the Triana. Alright, we'll just hold on to our skills. No point using anything now because they do have immunity. Yeah, just a normal attack will do here. 13k on to the Triana, which is pretty decent. Can we armor break? Double resistance, very nice. No additional turn, but now we do have attack buff. Triana don't proc. Okay, one punch man, alright, easy. That Triana is dead, and there will be nothing this Perna can do. <laughs> yeah, my Riley is just soaking up everything, no problem. We have to fight this defense again, and I'm just gonna use the second set of our Kumun Elusia Lauren. We do have three of these, if anything. <laughs> so I don't bother changing up any other style. I'll just take whatever gets us the win, you know? Like I said, we need to boost our win rate, so I'm not taking anything lightly. We are gonna cleanse this armor break off. So over here, I'll basically just show you guys like the consistency of the win rate when you're using this kind of lineup. It gets very tricky a little bit if the Harmonia Violent Procs here and there, but 
if the harmonia already used the second skill and you get your control off, it's gonna be an easy win. Okay, so now we got the armor break and slow debuff onto that harmonia. The armor break onto my Kumon, not that cool though. I hope we can cleanse it next turn. But we want to put the Vigor to sleep just in case, alright? So controlling the harmonia very well. That didn't do much. And we can also heal up. Hmm. Maybe we should have hold on to that skill though. So now we got two turns armor break. That's not too good. Uh oh okay, we can heal up. Control the Vigor. So next turn we can put the King Key to sleep. Yeah, we're just gonna do it. Push back. Very nice. Violent. Oh, we got it. And also the crit. <laughs> ah, easy. Okay. However, we haven't land our most important debuff. Okay, now mine, Kumun got it. Which is the unrecoverable. And now we can just go for the strip. Basically, it doesn't really matter from here on out. We just want to land the armor break later on. Yeah, just heal up our Lauren. Push back. Okay, we got it. No second skill though. So everybody armor broken. This can be tricky. From what I'm seeing here, the Kinky is on violence, so we shouldn't be scared of any despair stunts. We are seeing a Kakano, Iris, and Molong, so this one is a very simple cleave. Okay, we move first, as long as we land the armor break. Miss the Kakano though. Oh shit, we didn't push back the Iris! Um... Can we kill something? Okay, Iris go down please. Very nice. Okay, we are safe now. <laughs> Next up is the Twins and Triana. So I, I don't want to complicate things, we just go for the Lucian. Mirine Lucian, we should have enough damage, right? I hope. <laughs> so let's see. Okay, they're quite fast though. So we can boost up our Lucian here into the Amputation Magic. About 20k per hit. Easy cleave. We'll be tackling this Nana, Savannah, and the Perna. I know I can always change my Galleon and Tiana runes over to the second set and use the Hanwol, but let's just play Fire Bayek here. I think Fire Bayek is also pretty decent because yet again, they don't really have good strips. Uh, mainly the Perna second skill, Savannah as well, but then we should be, shouldn't be too afraid. We can always just go for the Sanctuary. Three turns immunity here. We already dismounted the Savannah. And it's not even hitting our Alia that hard because of the defense buff. So let's just finish off the first life of the Savannah. And we'll work onto her again. Oh. Can we cleanse this? Alia, do you have cleanse? Okay. I do not want to take any risk on our fire Bayek. <laughs> uh, just go for the second skill. Make sure we kill. Alright. Savannah is dead. And let's just work on to the Perna now. So another two lives that we need to go through here. Yeah, yet again, it's gonna be very annoying. I mean, like, because Savannah, two lives, Perna, two lives as well. So we need to keep killing things over and over again. We can't let the Nana get any stacks. But yet again, all our units still full health. Can we one-shot this guy? Beautiful. This now, it's the Hurtit, Vigor, and Triana with this team. It's a 100% win rate, alright? <laughs> uh, you can just ruin your Grogo, triple revenge, triple defense as well. Doesn't really matter at that point. Eladrol here, as long as he's a little bit tanky and fast, it's all good. And Diana with the standard runes, alright? So what you want for Diana is HP, crit damage, HP. Yeah, sorry, I forgot to show you the runes earlier, but... Pretty much standard stuff, you do know how to ruin your Dyna. Simple HP, crit damage, HP like I said. Uh, violent will. And what you want to do here is to fully focus on to the hurt hit. Come on. Big damage done already. Almost last hit. Nice stun. Okay, now we can pop the Chana's passive into the kill. Let's go. And from here, everything basically hits the... 
Grogo. And we can always heal up the Light Golem as well. So with the defense buff, we are so tanky. Every time we have a potential counter into a stun provoke as well. So triple revenge is the way to go. Unfortunately, we are failing to land anything. No stun, but we'll take this additional turn. Yeah, once Vigo goes down, there's nothing that Triana can do. We're finally down to our last sword, and we'll be facing this Dominic, Nora, and the Manon. I'll be bringing in Harmonia for our fire tank against that Manon. Dominic will be our main DPS, and hopefully Chandra can counter into potential stuns and whatnot. So let's see here. Can we slow them? Didn't get the slow on to the Dominic though. A very good stun. We'll take it. We got the branding off as well. So what we want to do here is to fully focus on to the opponent's Dominic first to remove one of the big damage dealer in his team. But gets the additional turn. Now he lands armor break though. Oh my god, my Harmonia needs to violin here? I think. Hey, we got it. Okay, we can cleanse our Dominic up. We hug the Harmonia since we got one more hug onto the Dominic. But our Chandra taking so much damage. A very good strip onto that unit. Parry on the last hit. Okay, come on, can we kill? Very nice. Okay, we can unwanted Harmony the Nora. So our Chandra back to safety zone. We got the slow debuff as well. Come on, come on, we need to finish off this Nora. Let's go! 3v1! But it's not over yet. Our Dominic took a lot of damage earlier. Do we have the cleanse next turn? I think we do, right? Okay, we are getting two turns on our Dominic every single time. I'll take it. <laughs> ah, very nice. Almost down to the last hit. Double parry, but I don't really care. We can heal up our units. Okay, we got a strip into the stun as well. GG's. So we got 10 wins in a row. The siege battle has finally ended and we got 331 crystals followed by 482 guild points. We'll head over to check out the map layout at the end of that fight. So we got first place followed by Tobong at second and Delta Force coming in third. Let's open up the rubbish box as usual. Hopefully we can get a shiny. It's been so long. <sighs> Sad. But we'll take one fire scroll, I guess. <laughs> this rune, if triple speed, potentially we can keep. Yeah, but the other two we'll just sell. 50 crystals and 100k mana. And that's about it for this one. If you do enjoy this video, please make sure to hit the thumbs up button. And also, if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing, else it helps out the channel a ton. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out.